Read techno babble. What is that? Oh my. <laughs> Game hints are available by phone. Hint books, <laughs> hint books, orders available through Sierra online. Blah, 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 blah. Oh my God, why did I click that? I, I know, I, I know, I know, I the, didn't, uh, didn't mean to do that. Oh man, they, they got their P.O. box. That, pro that doesn't exist anymore, I'm sure. <laughs> that was a lot of words. Oh yeah, I'm a bug. <laughs> oh, is this me? Ringy. Uh, if you could only activate the communicator's transmit key. I'm not... Maybe I need to drop something. What is this up here? So does the big dent in your head you got from falling out of it. Um. Hello. Help me. <laughs> I bet if I go in this pond, something will get me. Oh, God! Fuck. That was an accident. But okay. Go on there! Get it, fly! Hey! Talk! Flow! Help me! <laughs> Buzz, 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 buzz. Um, life's hard as a fly. It turned on, but what we do? Buzz, 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 buzz. Yeah, we're still a fly. Just look at her. Or buzz, 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 buzz. Does he have a tiny little Roger Roko face? Oh my god. This is bad news. What are we gonna do? Oh god. We should have saved it. I thought I was just part fly too. Oh, I do have a talkie talk. Hello. We gotta get the. Oh God. Yeah. Okay. Save it. We're, we're talking to Flo. About our auto insurance. Wrong Flo. Uh. <laughs> Can somebody up there explain to me how the captain of a starship can be reduced to a common house fly? You look hideous, Captain. Thanks for the pep talk, Flo. Tell Cliffy to get down here now. I'll inform him of your predicament, sir, but the transporter is malfunctioning again. Oh, really? I hadn't noticed. Captain, sensors have located a large underground structure to the west of your position. Why don't you go and check it out while we work on the transporter problem? As a fly?! I'll do that, Flo, but please tell Cliffy to get down here ASAP. We'll go out. Well, I'm glad I can still talk. I'm a fly. Buzz, 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 buzz. Oh, what is this? That's no doubt something that will kill me. Stay away from that. Maybe go the left key cards 
and you go up. Go up, fly. Let's get eaten by this guy. It'll no doubt happen. Fly quest! Oh, I went through the thing. Crazy Kafka asks shit. These developers had to be high. Brandon Truth. Can you just go through here? Or is it gonna... I mean, you're a fucking fly. Fly through. Oh. <laughs> ain't, ain't no fear being a fly. Jars containing grotesque examples of misapplied genetic engineering line one wall of the laboratory. Gross. This appears to be some kind of genetic research laboratory. Advanced machinery, experiment cages, and specimen containers containing bizarre creatures are found throughout the room. Not a bug zapper, I guess. Yeah. Here's blinky lights. When in doubt, go to the blinky lights. I mean, that is how... Maybe that's what all bugs are doing. They're really just Roger Wilco stuck in bug form. Going to, going to lights. Oh, God. Jettison sequence activated. Oh. I don't want to click restart just yet. But let's see what it do. We play God, so you don't have to. <laughs> okay. Activity log. Uh, let's see. Hen House of Doom. Hmm. Intruder alert. Uh, let's see. Emergency evacuation abandoned station. Let's see. Jettis scuttle procedure. They scuttled it all! Like fucking Nazis! Very sensitive touch screen, yeah. I'm impressed. Primordial soup. To create a survival and highly adaptable metabacteria to enable terraforming on planets currently unsuitable for human habitation. Base for artificial food chain on selected planets, synthesizing complex proteins as a natural byproduct of its metabolism. To put it in terms of the layman, it will eat poison, giving off water, oxygen, carbon dioxide, and producing rich organic base that, uh, that other introduced organisms can feed upon, in essence, the metabacteria that will create a primordial soup. Three months of preliminary trials, the bacteria strain Cassius velox has shown the greatest promise. The vigor of the specimen is impressive and its astonishing reproductive rate makes it an ideal candidate for our purposes. You fucking shit up! Ooh, radiation tests. If you put it behind a... What? 
Putting it behind a computer monitor. Uh, da -da -da -da. Manifested undesirable genomes after, after successive trials. Also makes trippy girlfriend popsicles. Indeed. Oh boy, live mice. Mmm. The, the mice have turned into slimy, foul-smelling, bad-tempered meta-rodents with attitudes. It seems that Metacassius has infected the DNA of the mice, much like a virus. This is an unprecedented event. Further study is indicated. All right. Ooh, that did something. Several test subjects have begun mutating wildly. The morphology of the creatures is singularly unrodent-like. They resemble nothing so much as ambulatory piles of goo with teeth. Gross. The only thing which appears to have any effect on the infected specimen, short of killing it, is the application of extreme cold. At temperatures below minus 200 degrees Celsius, cell mutations are slowed dramatically. Where did we go wrong? Well, that's good we put her on ice then. One of the metamice bit and infected one of the lab techs today. We're putting him into a cryonic hibernation to slow the progress of the disease, but I'm afraid that without a cure, his chances of survival are non-existent. The experiment is a failure and is scheduled to be terminated. Now, what am I gonna do? I've got an entire warehouse, warehouse full of this slop. Well, you fucked it up, didn't you, genetics? Genetics. <laughs> Words. Words are hard when you spell them wrong. Oh my. Hey, Astro Chicken 3. <laughs> Why did it boop boop? Oh, fucking, look, bribe! Class, classification is fucking bribe, turds. You knew that cork was bad, dude. Well, hell. Son of a bitch. We knew it to be true. Gen <laughs> Genetics. <laughs> yeah. What's this? Is this a hole? No. It's just a background. Go, go back through that hole. Through the hole with you. It's a good thing I turned into a fly, eh? Is Flo still there? Why do you take so long to come in for a landing fly? Okay, she's not there. Hold on. Before a frog gets me. Hey, bitch! Uh-oh. That's not what I wanted. Clippy, I've done you two solids now. And he's actively made me into a fly. Come on, frog. Do your thing. But, like, onto the phone. Improbably land on the phone. I don't even know what I did before. Come on, bitch. Come at me. Too close. Do your thing. There you 
There you go. Oh, nope. No? I've got more hacking to do? Oh shit. Oh yeah, we didn't do anything on that one page. Good call, good call. I was just happy for, uh, evidence. Let's see, what do these do? Data link not functional. Operational, standby power, backup computing systems active. Ooh. Oh, snap. Oh, dang. There's people here. Oh, it's my people. What is this crap? Oh, they're specimen cages. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna save this. Scared. Think they're gonna believe the word of a fly? <laughs> Uh, that seems unlikely. Can you go in there? Is it this one? Can I push this button? I gotta go bring my friends in here, right? But we need to open the door, I'm assuming, but. What up? Cliffy, it's just a hunch, but I think there's something wrong with the transporter. Can you describe the problem, sir? Will you look at me? I'm a fly. You sure are. What happened to the rest of you? I think I mean yeah, we crawled in the trash bin out back. <laughs> I don't actually know. You you're still scary, robot Madonna. Where's she off to? Is it this way? I mean, it shouldn't be that way. That'd be a stupid place to put a dumpster. Don't get me, frog. Where the fuck is the dumpster? Is there... A back door over here. Is there a second room? Is there a panel I could open? These are the questions. No, stop it. No. There's got to be some back door, right? Or a tiny fly shaped hole. I do not know. I didn't see the dumpster on the camera. It was in the first one. Yeah. 
like my my fly man body saw it or it was there. Here, hold on. Oh, here we go. See? Here's your body, Captain. Some people might say you've never looked better. I think I can fix you up. I just have to reverse the phase polarity on the transporter interface grid. You need to park yourself on old dung breath here for me to de-scramble the two of you. All right. Come on now. I'm a people again! Boy, Captain, I'm sure glad you're back to normal. You were really starting to bug me. Ha. You're fired, Cliff. That's not funny, Chief. Except for a strange urge to go jump in that fertilizer bin and roll around, I feel pretty normal. This sure is some setup those genetics boys got here. If you haven't seen the half of it, I flew through this locking mechanism and found a big underground lab next door. Of course, there was only so much I could do there as a fly. Anyway, there was a lot of really high-tech gizmos and all kinds of advanced technology. A moment too late, you realize saying the words advanced technology to Cliffy is, is like showing a photograph of a helpless woman and children to a Doberman pincher. A hungry gleam comes into your engineer's eyes. Oh, really? Why don't we take a closer look at that lock, Captain? Captain? You never know if we can open it. We might even find something we can use against the pukoid creatures. Critters. I'll meet you there. All right. I'm a people. Why don't you look through this garbage? Dig through it. Search. Why don't you talk to your fly brethren? Fine. Oh. Did they give me my communicator back? Oh god. You scare me, lady. Every time. Perimeter secured. Oh, that's what she was doing. Thank you. Adventures in Space Quest 5 are going well. Thumbs up. I was just a fly. We are now a people again. <laughs> Go through this thing. Use this thing. Tell Cliffy to look at this thing. I don't have a key lock. Right now she's a fly. Whoa. What's this? What if we just used garbage? Will this garbage work? No? What if we just blew it away? Okay, that's not necessary. Cliffy, just like break into it or something. Be a boss. Not here. What do you want of me? Can we do some sort of weird Terminator 2 shit? <laughs> mm. What are you supposed to do, dog? There's gotta be something else. Maybe in the garbage. Or in this pool of crap. We 
should look around with our people eyes. Get that frog. Nope. There's an amazing bit here and I need to be a fly? Oh. I will restore. Yeah, the, the beans, beams of light do seem like a puzzle. So we can open it for our friends. Got no stuff. Micah Shane, where is the amazing bit? Is the amazing bit here? <laughs> and is this a puzzle? Do you have to fabricate a key card with garbage and a hole punch? Perhaps. That seems logical. Like MacGyver style. Here, I'm gonna go back to when I'm a people and see if that's a thing. Ha! Okay. But I got to know the order based on fly stuff. Okay. Did he just pick a wedgie? So we we punch a hole where nothing happens, correct? So we wouldn't punch a hole there, so it'll get stopped. Is that the way this works? There. Where's the squeegee? So this one, no, this one. This one, no, no. Oh, that one is yes, right? on now I shouldn't have said anything sorry y'all no I don't know if I would have thought of that uh, not without much time passing you know what I'm saying Okay. 
And this is a group activity. This is your game too. <laughs> But the chat could have watched you flip a, ta flip a table. True, true. I knew that whole punch had to do something sooner or later. I did try to put the garbage in it. All right, hole punch, halfway there. Okay. Dut, dut, dut. I think that's it. I don't participate because I know this already. Yeah, that'd be too easy. Thank you, thank you. Go away. Satisfying. I have jumped up out of my chair when a suggestion works. Fantastic. Worked. I don't participate because I'm dumb. Incorrect. Now we can we can touch everything. That will not be of any help. Get closer first. See, I don't I want to know what this is. I know it's something. Probably releases all the animals. Woo! What that? What we get? A handy travel sized container of liquid nitrogen. Ah, just the thing to dump in the punch at dull parties. This 200, negative 200 degree temperature of the liquid instantly freezes anything it comes into contact with. That is just what we need. It's a vicarious adventure for me. I appreciate every one of your presences. Liquid nitrogen. All right, let's let's let uh, some of these beasties out and see what happens. Cause we we saved it, so let's whatever. Let's live with reckless abandon. Beep. What you got in there? Tasmanian devil. <laughs> I want to die in every kind of way. Wow, he lost his head. All right. Beep. Oh God! <laughs> it's like a wood chipper. <laughs> I approve. These two should be empty. No? Those are the only two deaths? All right. You missed Dusty's hilarious comment. We laughed a bunch. What? Where? What? The I don't participate because I'm dumb? <laughs> Can we
we do anything with this? We take any of these really gross things like this guy or this guy or this guy I'm gonna assume no thanks I needed the ego boost today being dumb is hard if you're gonna be dumb you gotta be tough isn't that you're saying dusty <laughs> Me out of here or just leave just leave we'll go Jesus yeah extremely low temperature temporarily halts the molecular action of the primordial soup that causes the mutations does it reverse the process no nope. yeah Okay with that. <laughs> it is, and good golly, it's true. <laughs> yeah. What is it, boy? You want to suck Beatrice's face? Put her on the thing? <laughs> Somebody fell down the well? Uh, sure. <laughs> you know, it just might work. Good boy, Spikey. Get the ambassador ready, sir. I'll man the transporter. And there he goes, sucking my face again. <sighs> yeah, go back in your home. Whoops. Do the thing. Score the points. Is he gonna do it or what? Or do I gotta do it? Oh my god! <laughs> Whoops. Uh, I guess he is, she's a little bit frozen. Maybe we gotta, you know, thaw her out first. I just wanna, I don't wanna grab her, damn it. It's got a de-thaw thing on it. Okay. Look at it. Okay. You're looking bad. Uh, defrost. Uh, Ambassador Defrost, 10 seconds. Okay. Oh crap, what did it say? Some bitch, I want to read that. Shakes fist at myself. Sometimes it's...
All right, don't press the buttons. Wait till it tells me things. You've successfully defrosted B. There's not much going to, s there's not much time to save her. So whatever you're gonna do, do it quick. I see. Well, I'm gonna save it. Be quick. Pick her ass up, and I don't fucking know. Put her over here, and then Cliff's got to be smart. Do whatever the monster told you to do. Okay, Captain, in just a minute, I've got to make some minor delicate micro-adjustments to the transporter. <laughs> Very delicate. Kick it. Oh, man, she's not a monster! I thought you were puked for sure. No problem. I'll tuck you back into cryo so you can recuperate. What happened to my underwear? Oh, no. <laughs> okay. We don't. Do we need a freezer? Told to freeze? Okay. It's already done, right? <laughs> The probability of surviving a direct confrontation with the Goliath is less than 0.001001%. Captain, we must utilize an alternative strategy. Like what? My memory banks were severely damaged on Kiz Uraz Gubi, but they indicate the ship I piloted contained a cloaking device of some kind. If we could refit it to the, to the Eureka, the Goliath would not be able to detect us with her sensory array. Sensor array. Yeah, blow them out of the sky. Uh, the power consumption of a cloaking device would prevent us from firing. In any case, the Eureka is too poorly armed to defeat such a strong opponent, even with an advantage of a tactical surprise. In any case, the proper course of action is to restore the Goliath's crew, not to destroy them. Fair. Fair. So we gotta go back. To that one place. Kiss your ass goodbye. <laughs> Foreboding Micah. <laughs> Did I do something wrong? <laughs> Kiss your ass goodbye. It is. <laughs> I, I love it. I gotta I gotta find your your message to me with the coordinates. Kiss your ass goodbye. I love it. Two zero zero one one. Light speed, bitch. <laughs> Take that. Takes a long time to get to kiss your ass goodbye. Regular speed, please. And orbit. And then, I will take Metal Madonna with us. C 
see painting? It takes a while. Jumping is useless. What little device? This device? Oh snap! It's a fucking garage door opener! Oh god! <laughs> I'd like to see Clippy's credentials, yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna make it. Well, I don't know what a cloaking device looks like. Or if you could just- can we just take the ship? Like, straight up? We should have brought her with us. High-tech thingamajigs. Yeah, we better save. You, there was warnings here about walking. But let's walk. As if we have no worries. Oh god! Zowie! The electromatic security system has reduced you to a stick of hero jerky. I know not to trust! What's this here? Ah. Uh, <laughs> this looks important. Can we press that button? Are you sure you want to do that? Yeah, go ahead. No, not get in it. We gotta... We gotta call What's-Her-Face. T-1000. I need your help. No, I don't want to go to my beam site. Maybe I use the stick. Like in Jurassic Park, and testing the fences. Ah! Mm hmm, mm hmm. Kiss your ass goodbye. Poke it! Throw metal into it. <laughs> mm, what is this? Warp distributor cap. I don't know, man. Can is there a way out the back? Are there panels to touch? Ooh. That was lucky. It should be easy to crack open, huh? Oh god. Uh, uh oh. Maybe turn it better. Do it better. I don't know what it's doing. I'm going to explode and I can't get out. Uh These don't look like they'd turn in anything. This is trouble! Why didn't we bring her along? I'm gonna die. Death, 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 all around me. Oh my god, oh my 
my god. Top. Oh my god. Give it! Now get me out of here! GTFO! Run! You non running bitches! <laughs> he did the splits. That looks real painful. Are you okay? Fine. Perfect. Now help me out. I'll take this cloak and gizmo and get to work installing it. It'll take some time, though. Okay, Cliffy, get on it. I'm sure the device will come in handy during an unexpected crisis in the near future. Yeah. I just hope this thing won't blow the ship to kingdom come when I throw the switch. Dang! That was stressful! She should have come with us, and we wouldn't have had any sort of problem. Ask for help, Roger. You rolled a natural 20 on that lockpick. <laughs> yeah. Well, where the hell we go now? Roger's definitely not a rogue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just panic and press buttons. Ah! No, no, no. Frequency jamming, right, right. I'm aware, Flo. Win one for the flipper. It was a pun, but I uh, accept it. And my bunions are killing me. But you're a deer for asking, sir. Yeah, see? She don't hate me no more. Uh, only way we'll succeed is to board and take control of the Goliath ourselves. And space monkeys might fly out of my butt. <laughs> I'm serious, sir. We can't go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Goliath. So we're going to have to find a sneaky way to get them. I agree. Do we got to wait on Cliff? Or do we know... Where to go? Like, let's see. Oh, God. No, cancel. Where'd he go? Are you done? Maybe the robot knows. I recommend that we attempt to board and take the Goliath. If we achieve the surprise, we can cure a portion of the Goliath's crew with the ship's transporter and enlist their aid before the rest of the pucoids can react. 29% chance of success, but there's a 93% chance that the Goliath could destroy the Star Confederation if we cannot prevent her from reaching the frontier. The only remaining option is to use the Eva pod. It's small enough to avoid attracting attention. Once you attach it to the Goliath and cut through her hull, you can sneak up to the bridge and shut down the shields. Then Cliffy and I can join you and affect the rest of the plan. Hmm. Databanks do not possess that information, sir, but I calculate an 83.7% chance that Cliffy will have that information. <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastic. 
Come on, man. <laughs> well, where go? Cliffy. That's to tell me where to go or something. Where the hell are we supposed to go? This might be a problem for tomorrow. We're almost at a hour. We got Thrakus, KU, Lucas, Lucas Zook, Gingivitis, Monostat 7. <laughs> These are all jokes. Clorox, Gangularis. Commodore, Spacebar, PU, Spatoonie, Thrakus, Kiz Your Ass Goodbye, Incubus, Coco Loris, Furuncle 4, Omo 2, Influenzaris, Rats Butts, <laughs> Alabar, Limburgus, Saliva. These are. Is it the Commodore 64? I don't know where the Goliath is. But fuck yeah, let's go to Commodore 64. There's a way to find out where to go without just guessing. Okay, and you're just translating. Oh yeah, it is 64. Try buttons on the captain's chair. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. Oh. I see. Oh, I should not do this, because this button was like, blow everything up. But, yes, okay. I finished putting WD-40 back together and reprogrammed her to perform as our science officer. You can now reach her through the science station on your comm panel. Well, I need to know... Hold on. This is the blow up the ship button, right? <laughs> Self-destruct button. Yeah, don't. Uh, yeah, plug the ship, whatever. I, I need to know, uh, what, where we're supposed to go, dog? Scan for ships. Oh, if gingivitis, okay. No, thank you. Yeah. Okay. We're going to gingivitis. I had looked at those buttons before. But I was scared because one was the explode everyone button. Alright. We're going to get to gingivitis and that's probably it for this evening. But we have accomplished so many things. At the beginning of the day, we were just a fly. Flying around the dung heaps of the world. Why didn't you go? Oh. Uncloak. I just wanted to play with my toys. We're sure having some fun now, eh, Captain? <laughs> yes. Do it.
to gingivitis. Oh, we're approaching planet Gingivitis. Sensors have detected the presence of the Goliath in the area, Captain Wilco. My calculations indicate that the Goliath will be in visual range in approximately 10 seconds. Oh, dang! Cliff, do your ship! Ch do your ship! Ch Get your tail down here to the lab. I wanna. I got something you might want to take a look at. All right. But I'm afraid. Always safe. What am I looking at here? You putting on speed stick? Oh, dang. Captain, I've been making a few scans of the Goliath and I've come up with some interesting information. Oh, really? Like what? Well, our scans show that a the mutated crew of the Goliath is not spread evenly throughout the various sections of the ship as it normally would be. The engineering spaces are almost completely deserted, for example. Well, if you were to enter the ship at that location, you would stand a good chance of getting aboard undetected. By saying you, you pretty much mean me, don't you, Cliffy? Of course, sir, once you got aboard. You could sneak up the bridge power conduits and shut off, all, shut off the Goliath's shields. What good would that do? Well, maybe WD-40 could beam over and incapacitate the crew. Then I could zip on over and set something up like we did for the ambassador with their transporter. That's a good idea, Cliffy. Full of machinery, radiation, pucoid city, lots of pucoids there. The least amount of pucoid activity. Okay, right? Nya. Well, that's very close to places that are swamped. Alrighty. Well, I think that will be for tomorrow. Thank you for joining me. We will be back at it tomorrow. And I don't know, how close are we to the end here? Maybe we can do it. I'm excited. Pow, pow, pow.